Today we will be starting on the topic called complex numbers. The complex numbers is one of the important topic in engineering whereby the student must know the entire detail about the complex number and focus the solution of it. So in this part we will be learning about the following titles. First we must know how to define a complex number. Next. In defining the complex number, we will identify the i and j as the notation. So we will also use the computation of the power of i, j. Next, we will use the principles of complex numbers in various manner to solve the problem. And compute these principles in any expressions or equation using the concept of botmers that we have learned in our primary and secondary schools. And finally, we will also learn in this part one of this complex number topic how to compute the divisional part of any equations or expressions of a complex number using the conjugate of any complex number. Now, let us see how we will define the complex number as it is. The complex number can be written as z equal to x plus i y or also can be said as z equal to x plus j y. Now you can see that I have written the i or j as one of the symbol that we have used here. Now the using of i and j is the same meaning. The i or j is represented as an imaginary number. We usually use the i for basic mathematics or in mathematics way of writing as i in a complex number. Whereas j is a notation where it represents in engineering field mainly. So both i and j are the same meaning. Now how do we get this i and j in a complex number compared to any other calculations? So let us take, this, take an example. Square root of 9 is equal to 3. That's known factor. But how do you solve square root of minus 9? Now, the minus 9 for a square root is not possible to solve in general mathematics as it is, even using calculator. So what we can do is, the square root of 9 which we got it as 3 in the earlier place. We can't substitute directly in the here. So the square root of minus 9, we can write it as square root of minus 1 times 9. So the square root of minus 1 times 9 can also be written as square root of i square 9. That is, we are substituting i square equal to minus 1. So therefore, now when we take the square root of this value, we can summarize that as plus or minus of i3. So now you can see that the square root of minus 9, which is an imaginary number, can be solved as i notation and the value can be written as i3, but however we have plus or minus 3. Now this i, as we have defined it earlier, is the notation of imaginary value. So this is the basic principle of a complex number existence. So now let us see further example on a quadratic equation. Now let us try this example. x square minus 3x plus 4 equal to 0 is one of the problem that we need to solve quadratic equation. Now this problem we cannot solve it basically using a factorization method as it is because it can't be factored. But what we can do is we can use formula method 
then we substitute the entire equation as identifying the coefficients as a equal to 1, b equal to minus 3 and c equal to 4 for the power 2, power 1 of the x and the constant equal to 4. Now the formula for a quadratic equation is minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. So all we got to do is, it's very simple, we substitute these values a, b and c as here. So when we substitute this value, it will be computed very simply as simple as possible in this manner. Now be careful, the common callous mistakes that we usually does is, we overlook the brackets of minus 3, the minus 3 square, these are very common callous mistakes that every one of us does. So therefore careful on it. So now when I simplify further this equation, it becomes now as 3 plus or minus square root of minus 7 over 2. Now you can see that this example is similar to what we saw in square root of minus 9 in the earliest, earlier example. Now the square root of minus 7 similar to minus 9, what we can do is, we can write it as square root of i square 7. Just recall minus 1 replaced as minus, I mean i square. Therefore square root of i square 7 should be identified as what we have done on square root of nine, minus 9. So now next the value would be 3 plus or minus i root 7. So now you can clearly see that there is a notation i existing which leads to a complex number. So now this can be written as x equal to 3 by 2 plus or minus i root 7 by 2. So this is a basic symbolic representation of any complex number like what we have seen in the earlier definition z equal to x plus i y.